From calling the opposing team a group of monkeys to starting her own OnlyFans, this is how WNBA star Liz Cambage single-handedly ruined her career. Back in 2022, Liz Cambage, one of the most dominant centers in women's basketball. At 6 feet 8 inches, Cambage's height made her an unstoppable force in the low post. WNBA teams were ecstatic when the Australian star was drafted in 2011. However, with all that height and talent came a huge amount of on and off the court issues. After just one year with the Tulsa Shock, the number two overall pick shocked everyone by announcing she wouldn't play for the team, citing her dislike for Oklahoma. This abrupt decision led to a four-year hiatus from the WNBA before Cambridge made her return in 2018, joining the Dallas Wings. Now things seemed to be going well for Cambridge, like she had turned a corner until 2021 hit and she got caught up in a messy situation while representing Australia. During a scrimmage against the Nigerian national team, Cambridge got into a heated confrontation with some of the players, even elbowing one of them and using racial slurs by comparing them to monkeys. Now what made this remark even more puzzling is the fact that Cambridge is half Nigerian herself. Throughout her career, Cambridge has been vocal about racism and discrimination in the world. This made her racial slur incredibly hypocritical. In 2019, she called out an Australian jockey company for not featuring any athletes of color in their advertisement, stating, How am I meant to represent a country that doesn't even represent me? Y'all do anything to remove POC from the forefront when it's black athletes leading the pack. Until I see y'all doing more, I'm going to sit this one out. Once again, making her monkey statement even more questionable. But she wasn't done, as this only further highlights the questionable nature of her monkey comment. But her controversial actions didn't stop there. During the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement, Cambridge took to Instagram, posting multiple stories criticizing her country for failing to speak up and support their black athletes adequately. Cambridge stayed with the Australian team through all of this and was planning on playing with them in the Tokyo Olympics. Until she didn't, pulling out at the last minute due to her mental health. Cambridge has never been shy about discussing her mental health struggles. It all started back in grade school in Australia when she was relentlessly bullied for her height. At the age of 15, she was getting blackout drunk to try to stop the pain that she was in. Despite eventually learning to embrace her height as an advantage, the emotional turmoil continued. During her rookie season in the WNBA, she often found herself alone, crying her eyes out night after night. The pain became so unbearable that she was put on suicide watch in 2016. Those were undoubtedly the darkest times for Cambridge, and she saw basketball as an outlet. Fast forward to 2020, when she decided to sit out of the Tokyo Olympics due to the overwhelming isolation from her family, further worsening her mental health struggles. But does that excuse her actions? Every time Cambridge has been in controversy, she has blamed these outbreaks on her mental health. It has reached a point where fans have begun to question whether she's genuinely dealing with mental health issues or simply playing the victim card. This was once again the case in 2022 when she joined the Los Angeles Sparks. Not only did Cambridge frequently complain about not receiving enough post touches from her teammates, but she also faced issues with some of her Nigerian teammates due to her offensive monkey comments. Following an 84-66 loss, Cambridge stormed off the court, got dressed, and told her teammates, I can't do this anymore. Best of luck to you guys. Shortly after, Cambridge and the Sparks agreed to part ways, effectively ending her WNBA career. As a result of her off-the-court problems, no WNBA team has shown interest in signing her. However, Cambridge seems to be doing just fine, as she has picked a new career, OnlyFans. She claims to have made way more money in her OnlyFans career than she ever did in the WNBA. As a female athlete, I feel like I'm not allowed to be sexy, and I'm not allowed to be that person. All society wants for me is to sit down, shut up, go to training, and play my sport," Cambridge said about joining OnlyFans. Now perhaps this was Cambridge's plan all along, intentionally sabotaging her career to pursue OnlyFans. Or maybe she has a serious...